Jeremy here from Common Collected. Today we're checking out the world's smallest slot car race, called Micro Slot Racing by Jupiter Creations, an entry-level micro 187 scale slot racing set that is based on LEGO compatible base plates. We're going to open it up, see how it works, and test it out. This is not a sponsored video, but Jupiter Creations did send us this for free so we could create an objective review. This is the basic set, but there's also a version with extra pieces, so if you're shopping online, look carefully so you know which of the two you're getting. Also separately, you can buy a four pack of extra track pieces or a two pack of cars. Let's open it up. In the box, you get the instructions, sticker sheet, thumb plunger controllers, the two cars, they're 187 scale, which is about two inches long. So something between Hot Wheels and a micro machine size. You can see the guide, the plastic peg that follows along the track, and the braid or brush conductors that will make contact with the track. You got the USB cable that powers everything, a brick separator, tweezers, and the various track pieces. These sprues have all the little pieces that make up the flags and the start and finish line. You just break them off, apply the stickers and pop them together. Let's clear the table and assemble the track pieces. They clip together pretty easy, they don't feel like they're going to break. I only have the basic set here, but you could imagine if you had extra pieces, how you could assemble the curves and straight pieces in any direction and make the track as big as you like. The track piece with the controller connectors has a QR code sticker on it. It's also in the instruction manual, but that'll take you to a video that shows you about caring for the contacts under the cars. It's really the only part that feels fragile to me that you'd have to teach your kids to be gentle with the connections. To set it up, let's plug in the USB cable and plug it into the standard phone charger brick. I'll plug in both controllers. Before you start, Wipe off the track with a clean rag. Oops, looks like I bumped the finish line there. Put the cars on the track and that's it. Well, I better fix that finish line. And finally, the moment you've been waiting for. The thumb plunger is variable speed. There's also a turn knob under the controller that will limit how far down the plunger will go and that'll reduce the max speed. There's also a turbo button, but it would be too fast for such a short layout. It would be easy to get the cars to spin out around the curves if you're using the boost or turbo on such a small track. Here I'm using two hands and I'm trying to get the cars to race side by side Watch out for that piece where the two lanes pinch together and the cars can knock into each other and knock one of them out of the race. It reminds me of train sets I used to have when I was little, but this seems a lot more kid friendly. And it's also neat, of course, because you can use the base pieces to build a Lego city around the street or add minifigure spectators to the race. I asked my niece and nephew to put it to the test and build their own creation around the track in a video that we're putting on our action figure and Lego theme channel, Common Collected Go Figure. There's a button for that video on the screen and the link is in the description along with the links for where to buy. Thanks for watching Common Collected and we'll see you in the next video.